Hi, I'm Lashari Weems, and I'm from Chicopee, Massachusetts, which is a small city in Western Mass. My name is Mohanad Salman. I live in Chicopee. Uh, I'm original from Iraq. My name is Louis Barrios. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn, moved out to Springfield, and now, currently, I live in Chicopee, Massachusetts. You know, a lot of people assume that it, it's mostly seniors or older adults that need help with technology. And from my experience, that's not true. Um, we've had younger people come in because they want to further their careers. Yeah, they know how to use TikTok and they may know how to use Instagram, but when it comes to the, the skills that are necessary in the workforce, a lot of them are missing those skills. So when I came here is a big challenge for me different culture, different language, different like, uh, life, even the different weather, because in my country it's too hot, but here it's very, very cold. So I start here from Center for New Americans. So when I meet with the staff, with the teachers, with the advisors, that makes me more confidence. They push at me, they try to help me a lot. So I walked in and uh, it was with open arms. As soon as I came in, I met uh, the, the instructors that were gonna be here. I dedicated myself to getting better in, in, in my digital literacy. And it's been amazing. After I completed a couple of courses here, that gave me the ability to know that I was good at something. I joined Tech Foundry's bootcamp. It wasn't easy. I felt like I was uh, the rookie. Right. Um, <laughs> and at the end, I was like the grandfather of all of them, because <laughs> either the father or the grandfather of most of them, because they're 20 years, 30 years younger than me in there. And I was like, man, if I'm here, I'm doing this. You can do it. A lot of times people came in because they wanted to learn digital skills, but didn't know where to start. Maybe they were given a device that they didn't know how to use. Uh, they wanted to learn a new skill, basic things like turning on computers or using a mouse. A lot of online programs, you have to have at least an email to sign up for, and they didn't even have that. And then we had a lot of other people who were English as a second language uh, populations where, you know, they may know a little bit about computers, but navigating it in a different language can be really difficult as well. Because I, talk, I work with the Ukraine, with the Afghanistan, Arabic, uh, about more than 40 different countries. People come from different country, uh, countries. So I think the body language, this is the common uh, language between us. So show them how can join to the class, how can put the Zoom link, how can use the mute and mute video, how can use the chat. I'm, let's say I'm bilingual, right? I speak English and I speak Spanish. I'm trilingual now. I got another, I, I have another language. I got the computer language. I'm not the best at it right now, but I'm, I'm gonna continue to work. Why? Because I know it's gonna help me. The way the world is going now, everything is digital. It was around pandemic time. I found myself on the opposite side of the digital divide and I had difficulty maintaining internet connection at home. I had three kids going to school from home, which is when you're using telehealth and you're using online education, having internet is essential. You know, sometimes you could utilize the library, but that's limited hours. And if you have the kids at home, sometimes that's not always an option. There were times where I would have to like drive to Dunkin' Donuts and connect to their Wi-Fi just to be able to check or send emails for important documents. So I was actually eligible at the time to get ACP, which was really a lifeline for me. It also helped me to be able to attend classes at Tech Foundry um, and get a certification to become an IT support specialist. Today, I am the Digital Navigation Coordinator for the Alliance for Digital Equity. How's that base state? And I'm pretty excited about this work because I'm going to be supporting uh, an entire network of digital navigators. Digital navigators are very much like social workers in the technology field, right? They provide wraparound services and address the digital divide from all angles. They make sure that people have connectivity, whether it be helping them, you know, get a plan through an ISP or finding places that they can go, common areas, libraries, uh, that they can access the internet. As you know, most of our students as refugees or immigrants. So when they came here, 
they don't have job or they don't have any money to to be uh, control about the life here. So the school here or Center for New Americans, they try to help them to provide it the hotspot, the small internet. I'm 50 years old. I know in my life that I got to continue to learn. Life evolves. People that don't see it, that don't know that the resources are out there, those are the ones we need to reach. We need these resources down here. Uh, we need to teach, and there's so many people that need to learn, want to learn. We're all Massachusetts, Boston, Eastern Park, Central Park, and Western Park. We're all Massachusetts. Let's come together. Let's bridge that divide.